Hi guys, welcome to Code Solutions with me, Komzaram Pekwilia. Today we're going to be working on a very exciting code problem. In this code problem, we're going to be understanding the difference between a value returning function and a void function. And this is the code problem we have for today. Write a program that takes us a set of test scores of a student. It then uses two functions, calculate sum and calculate average to calculate the sum and average of the data set. Your program must use the following functions. A value returning function, calculate sum. To determine the sum of the test scores, use a loop to read and sum the test scores. The function does not output the sum of the test scores. Secondly, a void function, calculate average. To determine the average of the test scores, the function does not output the average test scores. This task must be done in the main function. We're given a hint to use pass by reference for average variable. Interesting. I think this one is quite straightforward. We just need to basically create a code program that will accept as input the number of scores that a student has gotten and then eventually tells them okay this is the average that you have received from all the scores you've given me but the program must contain two functions and we are told that the other must be a value retaining function which is the one that calculates the sum and the next will be the void function which calculates the average let's get right into the coding As we know that before we can work with any variable, it needs to be declared. The compiler needs to know what this variable is. And for the purpose of our comp and for the purpose of our code problem today, we see that we have two functions which we're going to be working with. So let's declare this function. I'm going to keep them as double because we are calculating an average which could come in point forms. And we're told that the second function is a void function, so it does not take a data type, but rather the void keyword. Keep in mind that I've kept my parenthesis clear because we have seen that within our code, we are being inform informed in more details as to what should be within this void, within these functions. So I'm just doing a basic declaration of the functions. Right, so now let's build up what our functions are going to be about. Let's start up with the first function. We are told that our function is a value returning function. We've adhered to that, we've kept it as a double. And it being a value returning function means it needs to return a value. Let's declare this value that is going to be returning. Okay, now we've been told that to determine the sum of the test scores, we must use a loop to read the sum of the test scores. Okay, so basically what this is saying is, usually you would have your prompt of input in the main function, but now we're going to be using a loop within this very same function to read our user input, which means we're going to have to declare the variable which is going to be holding this specific input. And we're just going to be writing it in here. And now for the loop that will be iterating through the test scores as the user inputs them. And because we're not told how many times the and because we're not told how many times the user must enter the input, we are just going to take five user input but let's write a nice message here to inform the user that they should be entering an input Now, our function is a value training function, and whatever output we get 
will be stored into this sum value so we're going to be outputting this sum value within our main function not into this same function the loop is not only meant to read the input but also to sum the test scores after all even as we read this code we do see that the user does enter the five numbers and this function is supposed to return the sum but what is the sum this sum was only declared initially and it doesn't have a value so initially let's give it the value zero at first this at first the scores was a zero and now the scores keep adding up and how do they keep adding up our sum will now be equal to this so basically what we're doing here is saying initially our sum was a zero and then having come here the user enters a test score let's suppose it's a one when the user enters a one when it comes here the sum is a zero this zero plus a one gives us a total of one and then it comes back again to prompt the user to enter the input the second time and the second time the user enters a one again but now when it comes here it finds that the sum was previously stored as one so it's going to say one plus this new score which is a one giving us a new sum of two then it comes back again to get the third prompt from the user and then now the user enters a five so now when it comes here to sum up the score, it's going to say, what is the value of the sum? It was previously 2. So this 2, we're going to add it to the now score that we just got from the user, which is a 5. Now giving us a value of 7 being the new value for sum. Coming back again for the fourth time to prompt the user for input. Supposedly the user enters the number 2. And then it comes back again. Previously the sum value had, the sum variable had the value seven and now it's going to be added to seven plus this new score which has just been added which is a two is a nine and so on until the feed prompt let's clear this off now let's move on to the function calculate range this is an interesting one because we see we are given a hint here which says use by use pass by reference for average variable to calculate average we obviously are going to need a value from the calculate sum we're going to need this value sum and average it but then that's not the only value we're going to be needing because they're telling us to pass by reference for average variable we're going to pass this var average variable in here. Confusing, right? Because this average is only going to be calculated within this function. So how then does this function start this function with a value it doesn't know? That's what it means by call by reference. When you pass a variable by reference, you provide the function with a reference or a memory address of the actual variable rather than a copy of its value. This allows the function to directly manipulate the original variable's value. And just easily say average equals to this sum divided by a 5 because we already know that we're only taking in 5 inputs from the user. And then now, going to the main function where we just only have to do the output we already prompted the user for the input so now let's just declare the variables that will hold there's vari values that we have the variables which will hold the values that are coming in from the functions we've got double sum and that for the average And now to hold the value that comes from the function, calculate sum. We're basically calling that function, nothing much. And now we are outputting, we are outputting the, and now we are outputting the sum.
and now to pass the variable by reference the sum from the previous function and the average let's output this average and there we have it we have created the function that calculates the sum by prompting the user to enter input five times and while it the user keeps entering the input, the input is being summed up. And because this function is a value returning function, this value will be returned and stored into this value. And to obtain this value, we are basically just going to give this function a certain variable to hold the sum. And we will output using the C out because that's the value returning function. The output was not done within that function, but the output will now be done within this main function. And now, moving on to the second function, we just had to calculate variable, we just had, which just had to calculate the average. And usually, given that it's a void function, you'd give it the sum and then the average. And then the average would, and then this average would declare it from within here. But then the code strictly instructed us to pass by reference to read from the memory the value that will be held by the memory so we did just that and we assigned the value to that mm, memory address to say whatever value that will be there will be this sum divided by a five and now to output whatever that comes from that function we created a variable average this variable average is what will be output but then how do we link this variable average to that function by inputting it here within the parenthesis to link it to the function and that's just how simple it is let's run a code problem just to confirm that indeed what we have done is correct the logic the thinking could make sense but as long as the code output is not it then it was never right let's compile and run save our code We didn't do a proper declaration, it's supposed to be int i, 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 the same value. This was declared as scores, and we're only calling it a score here, so it should be scores. The compiler does not know this variable. But this, we forgot to remove this semicolon when I had initially just declared the functions. So we're going to do a simple test case where we just enter twos. We know that five twos should give us a 10. Equals to 10, and we know that the average is equals to two. Let's take another input of various numbers. We'll make a pretty simple one, 15. The sum is an 86 and the average is 17. Another successful code problem. Don't forget that you can also send in your program questions on our Gmail address gg.intehanang at gmail.com and we can work out your pro code problems together. We are receiving so many emails and it may take some time before we get to attend to your code problem. But nonetheless, we definitely are going to address it. Don't get tired of coding. Let's meet on the next video.